Good evening. Oh, hello, everybody. <laughs> this is this is like this is going to be the craziest live I think I've ever done. Um, it certainly is going to be the most crowded. <laughs> that's for sure. It, y yeah. We're talking about breakfast. We're talking about breakfast today, but the focus of the breakfasts are going to be um, oats and uh, or just like kind of you know when we all well okay let me start again. Most of us have that sweet tooth. Hi, Bandana. Hi, uh, most of us have a sweet tooth and we always want to, you know, we consider breakfast being a cereal or, or, or that kind of thing, or croissant with jam or something like that. Hi Poonam. Um, hi. Um, so what I'm, my aim really is to show you that there is a lot more that you can do and that it's generally very quick and easy. The, the, the thing that, that takes the longest is actually the quinoa porridge and I think that takes about 20 minutes. So there's quinoa porridge here. Uh, which I'm going to tell you about in a minute, how I've made that. Sorry about the noise of the dog, my daughter's just come home, so Sophie's desperately excited if you can hear her in the background. So we're focusing on things like, on things that are kind of breakfasty, like oats and what we would conventionally, conventionally think of as breakfast, but I'm trying to get you away from um, grabbing the Weetabix or grabbing the Cocoa Pops or grabbing the Rice Krispies or all those uh, things that really, Weetabix is fine, uh, shredded wheat is okay as well, but um, there, are, there are some cereals that really aren't good at all. And I'm gonna look at some alternatives. Okay, so we're gonna start. We've got a lot going on and a lot packed in. Some of these things will be, you might think I've seen those before, I've done them, that's absolutely fine, but it's just about showing you variety and getting you to think slightly outside the box. Um, and all of them are really super quick and easy. So the first one I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna do the chia seed jam. So all of you who might have seen, if you look, again, a lot of these recipes are on my blog. I've also posted about them in the past on Instagram, so you can always look back and look them up. So um, do try them as well uh, at home, it's so simple. So chia seed and blueberry jam. You can use any berries, you can use raspberries as well, strawberries, it's so easy. It, it's, in, it's ridiculously easy. Okay, so I'm gonna read the recipes, not because uh, you know I haven't got a good memory and don't make them, it's just because there's a lot going on. So the recipes are up, you can actually print them out. They've got, they're nutritionally analyzed as well for you using that, um, we're not using Fitbits or any other apps, we're actually using a, a proper um, data base analytical system, whatever it's called. So it says 200 grams of um, fresh blueberries. Okay, so I've got about 150 here, which is absolutely fine. If you can get organic berries, that's much better uh, to use organic berries, but we're kind of using whatever we could grab, uh, grab, get our hands on. Four tablespoons of water. Okay. And this is a very, very loose measurement. You might need a little bit more or, or a little bit less, depending. Chia seeds expand. Okay, so you don't need a lot of chia seeds. Um, they really do expand. So we've got four um, chia seeds in there. And actually what I'm gonna do first, before I add the chia seeds, is just to let the blueberries start to kind of break down a little bit. Okay. That quinoa porridge is, is actually- So how do you make that quinoa porridge? Because you said- quinoa. Okay, so quinoa porridge is literally just quinoa and water or milk. I've used a mixture of um, milk, oat milk, and um, water. And you just boil it, and you, you need quite a lot of water to get it to that stage. So it does taste different. You so can boil it for longer. I boiled it for about 20 minutes. I was gonna say, how, how long does it actually take to cook? Yeah, it does take a little while. That one takes a little while, but we use it in the nursery as well for the children, and they absolutely love it. So you'd use it in the same way as you would other, other, your other porridges, and we're gonna look at the um, we're going to look at toppings and what you can add into your porridge as well in a minute. But that is your quinoa porridge. And quinoa is so super good for... Um, Hi Vicky. <laughs> Vicky's been waiting for this live. I know, I know. It's really good for... Quinoa is really good uh, in a uh, source of protein. Absolutely brilliant source of protein. And it's, it's not a grain. So um, it, it means that... It, it's not that kind of heavy, it's not, it's not that kind of high in carbohydrate, it's much higher in protein. So it's a really good option for, um, for breakfast. It's a really good one if you can do it. You might need to do it kind of the night before. I, Hi, Nandita. So you're just letting the yeah, blueberries sort of so sweat down in a little bit of water. Blueberries are sweating down in a bit of water. This is, a, this is the blueberry jam. 
This will store in, once you make a big batch, make a big batch, because you will keep using it. You can use it to, you know, on top of your porridge, you can use it on, on bread Hi, if you were going to have it. Hi, use it on bread if you were going to have it. You could use it on, uh, on anything, pretty much, in your yogurt as well. We're going to talk about yogurts. But it's got no refined sugar at all, and you won't need it. It's, you won't need the refined sugar in it at all. Will it keep? It will keep, sorry, it will keep in the fridge. In a jar, uh, get a really clean jar, pour hot water into the jar and sort of sterilise it a little bit. Put it into the, into the jar once and let it cool and stick it in the fridge and it will keep for about a week at least. It doesn't last that long in our house, I have to say. So you're just going to let the... Let so the Beijo, we're, sorry, we're just making um, a collection of different breakfasts. With so right now is a blueberry jam, which Mira started and it will be, we'll have some chia seeds added to it. Over here we've got quinoa porridge, which is made with a mixture of water and an alternative mix, milk, in this case uh, coconut milk. But that one does take a little time to, um, uh, to cook, around about sort of 20 to 25 minutes. Yeah. So um, with the chia seed jam, the reason I'm suggesting and promoting chia seed jam is because A, it's got no refined sugar, it's only got the sugar from the berries. Berries are brilliant, they're so good for you. If you can have berries in a day, that's fantastic. Um, and also with the chia seed, you've got the protein coming in and the fiber coming in. So you, that's, it's brilliant. Chia seeds are a real powerhouse. And if you can use them in places, it's, it's important to, that you can. And they, they kind of fill you up as well because they've got that protein and they've got the fiber. Because they, they expand. They'll expand won't they be. do expand, yeah. I always uh, recommend uh, cooking uh, or soaking chia seeds, and we'll go on to that in a minute. So that's kind of nearly done. The blueberries. Ru Rutner's are... tuned in, but again, only just to see your chiseled arms. Oh gosh, Rutner. <laughs> you go. Oh, if I could only tell you what John made me do today, it was absolutely mad. And then he just looks at me like, what, what do you mean you can't do another rep? I'm, John, I am actually going to throw up in a minute. Anyway, he's like, so look, that's such a beautiful colour. That's just blueberries and water at the moment with a bit of chia in there. I'm going to add the other um, tablespoons of chia. So I added one tablespoon of chia. I'm going to add four. And what, so that's another three. Um, and that will thicken as well. Yeah. So what it does, the chia will absorb the water. Okay. So and no, no more water to be No added. more so water. Like four tablespoons of water, four tablespoons of chia seeds. No, four teaspoons of chia seeds. Hey? Four oh. teaspoons of chia seeds. Chia seeds expand. If you used a oh, tablespoon, a, it would be like... That's a faux pas. Hashtag yeah. blame Harry yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, naughty, naughty. Right, so it's four table, tablespoons of water, two teaspoons, uh, four teaspoons of chia. Okay, so if you can, can you see it's thickened, right? So, and this is what we use in the nursery for the children too. So... I'm showing you things, other than the nuts, I'm showing you a lot of stuff that we actually use in the nursery for the children. The children in the nursery have a buffet style breakfast. They, they just said that we should offer a takeaway breakfast service. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where you live, baby. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for a knock on the door. Okay, so that's thickened. And that will cool, as it cools, it will thicken even more. Super high protein. If you can do one thing from today, ditch the jam, make this jam. Really, please don't tell me that that's too difficult to make. That rhymes. Ditch the jam and make that jam. Ditch the jam. Ditch the sweet jam from the shops and make that jam. Make the chia seed jam. Right, next. This is another one with chia, uh, with chia which is really easy. Super duper duper easy. And Sarah's offering a breakfast blow dry. Oh, come on. Yeah, I could give you the samples of the breakfast and Sarah could do a blow dry. Yes, come on, Sarah. Nandita's asked a technical question. Yes. What, is there a difference between the white and the black chia seed? No, not that I know of, but I haven't looked it up. I, I've been using, uh, I've got a mix here. That's so, not actually coffee, by the no, way. No, it's not coffee. It's a little, you know, you know, all Indians, come on. All Indians have jars, right? We all really use all the jars. You find loads, of, look at the jars, look at the jars in the cupboard. We jars never throw everywhere. anything away. <laughs> we, we were the, we've been recycling for years. Anyway, so... Um, the next thing I'm going to do is a coconut and chia seed pudding. It's called a coconut and chia seed pudding, but it is so delicious for breakfast and healthy and nutritious for breakfast and is a great alternative. So you can but, have a pudding for breakfast. But you can also serve this as a pudding at the end of a meal. You can put it into little ramekins and it will set. So it's great. Right. So yeah, let's Mary, go you're, so, you're so versatile with your recipes. Oh, thank you, Harry. Are you being sarcastic? Anyway, um, so for this Back one, to... we've got uh, coconut milk. This is something you can actually buy uh, on Amazon. It doesn't have to be this make. It's coconut milk powder. It's a really handy thing to have around. 
It just adds a little bit more flavour, a little, more, a little bit more depth of flavour. So for those of you who've got that sweet tooth and you kind of are craving sweet things, this is a, a, great, uh, a great one as well. And then we've got some desiccated coconut too. So, again, it involves a pan, but we've got 50 grams of chia seeds going in. So, again, you don't need to use an awful lot. This one serves two people, and it's only 95 calories for 100 grams. I mean, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. You couldn't eat 100 grams. There's a lot there. Uh, hold on. There we go. Grams. So 50 grams. 50 grams. I'm not. I hope my back wings aren't shaking when I'm doing this. By the way. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll have to see John. So are generally all of the recipes that you're making are they generally quick? As in to oh, do, God, or do, really quick. or do they do require? Them. I mean, I know that some of them will require, so, you know, overnight soaking of stuff. No, no, no. We're going to do that in a minute. So this is this is chia seeds going in the pan. I haven't put the pan on yet. And now I need to do the um, coconut milk. Okay. So I've used this coconut milk. Shake. Hopefully it's not open. It doesn't go everywhere. Two hundred and sixty-five mils of coconut milk. That's okay. Two hundred sixty-five. Got 200. Do you need your glasses? Oh, I might do. God. You're so rude. Just because I'm getting old doesn't mean you have to be I rude. I also am now suffering the same problem. Yeah, well. well just because I'm going to be 50 does not mean that you have to be No, 50. you're not. Oh, yes, I am. Right, dried coconut. This is optional, but it does add extra flavour. It says a tablespoon. Might not have a tablespoon, but you know what? I'm just going to chuck in whatever I've got. Okay, so it's like that powdered, it's like powdered milk. Um, the Indians use powdered milk quite a lot. Uh, and I'm going to add a tablespoon of desiccated coconut as well. And that's going to cook. A tablespoon of desiccated coconut. And done. Right, it's very simple. Just put it on. And... I might even run out of spoons, you know, I'm using so many spoons, wooden spoons. Okay, so it will thicken up really quickly um, and the, the chia seeds will just expand and it will thicken up. So I heat it, like I said, you know, you can leave it soaking overnight, but I actually like to cook it. I do like to cook chia seeds and I do like to, it's, okay, so let's talk about, can I just, while, while I'm cooking, can I just talk about oats and chia seeds? So. There's a real, most people when they're using a smoothie or they're doing, making a smoothie or they're making something, they will tend to just chuck in um, raw oats, raw chia seeds, okay? That's not great. And the reason it's not great, and I explain this in, my, in one of my posts on my blog, is because the, the outside shell of the oats is really difficult for us to digest. And it can often cause bloating or an upset stomach or an unhappy stomach because it's just difficult. Our, our bodies just can't digest it. So by soaking the oats, you are a, expanding them, but you're actually destroying or beginning to destroy and dissolve that outer shell, which is hard for us to digest. And then that makes it easier. So if you are going to be using oats in your smoothie over here, you need to soak them. Okay. So if you look at if you see what, I, what I'm trying to say, if we look at dried oats, they're like that, okay? And if you look at those, they've soaked and they've plumped up and they've got a bit softer. And that, you, you, you wouldn't stick like wheat grains in your mouth. You know, you wouldn't sit there and chew wheat grains like or sodas. a dal or something. You've got to cook them or, or at least um, soak these ones so that they begin to dissolve the outer. Uh, husk so that they're easier for us to digest. So um, I'll go on to overnight soaked oats in a minute as well. So do soak your oats before you use them. Uh, likewise with chia, soak your chia seeds before you use them. Much more effective for you. And also, it will it they won't sort of expand that much in your stomach. Um, so once you pre-soak them, yes. then they're probably better for you than yes. you cooking them. Well, they're easier to. They, they, they're more effective. So that's just going to take, so I had it on a low heat, but you literally just let that cook for about a minute, not more than that, about a minute. And then we're going to set, set it in some, you can set it in like a little bowl and a ramekin. Um, you do have to stir it a little bit so that you get the lumps out. 
Okay. Okay. So now the recommended. Just talking about porridge. The recommended allowance of porridge for a daily for your daily intake is forty grams. Forty grams of porridge is a lot of porridge. So I'm going to weigh out 40 grams and I'm going to show you how much I actually eat myself. Um, so it is a lot, a lot of porridge. So if you were thinking, okay, you know, I'm really hungry and I'd like some breakfast. Um, when, you're, when you're thinking about porridge and other grains and stuff like that, do think about what else you're going to be adding into them as well. So I've got a whole selection of things. So here's... here's Let's get the scales. Let me weigh out 40 grams for you and let me show you what I actually, what I would recommend. You don't need to eat 40 grams, but it's huge. So if you were a, you know, if you kind of are someone that, um, okay. This is my contribution today. <laughs> so that's 40 grams. And when we cook 40 grams of, of um, porridge, it's going to expand to a, a, a really quite a large amount. So, okay. Now, if you are trying to, if you're trying to reduce your weight, if you're trying to lose weight, cook your porridge with water. Okay. You can add milk after you've cooked it, or you can add yogurt into it, or you can add your other bits and pieces into it as well. Um, but. Cook it with water. That's a, a really good trick for kind of weight loss starting with. So if you can see, that's kind of expanded quite a lot. It's heated. And I'm going to pour it into a bowl. Uh, and I'm going to let it set. Hi, Rash. Hi, Rash. And you'll see that it actually sets uh, in the bowl. So I've got a little bit in the bowl there. I'm going to let it set for a bit. So there's loads of, there's enough for two people, a generous helping. And this will fill you up because it expands and it's fantastic calorie wise, like 90, you know, ridiculously low, low calories. So 40 grams of oats, okay, you think that's not a lot, that's not going to fill me up. You'd have a big bowl of, of cornflakes or Rice Krispies. But going back to my thing about sugar, Rice Krispies and cornflakes have got added sugar, they're processed, they're refined, therefore they're going to digest more quickly. They're higher up, they, they, they burn more quickly. So you then get a slump um, much faster. These are gonna burn more slowly. So oats are gonna burn more slowly, therefore they should keep you fuller for longer, particularly if you add a few bits to it. So in they go, and I'm just gonna add a bit of water. I'm actually gonna cook them with water for you and show you that you can make them creamy, you can make them delicious. So, I don't need to use a measurement, it's just going to go on, and there it goes. Okay, let that cook. So, that chia seed is already setting. It's a bit like jelly, it's already setting. Still too hot, you could eat it hot if you wanted to. It's like my tummy. But I... Harry, I, I don't think people want to associate chia, just coconut chia I'm seed just with joking. your tummy. Anyway, so it, I prefer it cold. This is a really nice cold, like a cold breakfast. You stick it in the fridge the night before, grab it as you're on your way out. You can even put it in little Tupperware tins and have them ready for the Tupperware boxes and have them ready for the kids as well. Um, Daughter number two is joining us. Hi, Ria. Um, so just to kind of show you, this is, the, this is the jam now as well. It's all set. Okay, so. That was the, this is the quinoa that I'm, I was doing. So with the quinoa, I'm gonna put a little bit in there. So this is quinoa about, porridge. Yeah, it's about two tablespoons, about two tablespoons. Now, to that, my goodness. I mean, look at this. This is like a Where whole- Where do you start? Yeah, like, how can anybody say breakfast is boring? It seriously can't be breakfast. Uh, it can't be boring. It really, really can't. You can grate apple and put it on the top. You could smash half a banana into it and put it uh, and, and mix that in. You've got cocoa nibs. You can buy these in the shops. Get good quality, organic if you can, cocoa nibs, otherwise they're way too bitter. Sprinkle those on the top if you want that chocolate fix as well. You can add a bit of the blueberry jam. 
So you're getting, not only are you getting your, um, what I'm going to do first though is add a bit of milk or yogurt to that. I'm going to add some yogurt to that. Again, you've got different types of yogurts you can use. Try and get a yogurt which has a live culture if you can. That's quite important because, so it will say bio on it. So I've actually found three different ones. This is a coconut based one with, with live cultures. Has it? it says on this yes, it has. I know. It has got live cultures. It's got li live vegan yogurt cultures. That's what you want. That's suitable for Because if you, again, look at the, the blog I did and the post I did about probiotics, that's what you want. You want your live cultures in there. So if you've had antibiotics, or even if you haven't had antibiotics, live cultures is the thing. So I'm going to mix a bit of coconut yogurt into there. You can use any yogurt you like. Budim's asking, what's more calorific, quinoa or oats porridge? Um, oats. But we'll work it out for you. Harry will work it out for you. I will. But, um, it will be oats because oats have got carbohydrate, um, higher carbohydrate content than quinoa. Quinoa has got higher, um, uh, higher fiber, higher protein. Okay, so I'm going to mix that all up. I know it sounds really weird. Why would you mix yogurt with, with quinoa? But honestly, it just, or any porridge. This is something Ria taught me. Ria Sharma, thank you very much. So. You've got, your, you've got your porridge. So it's almost like, a, it's quite stiff. It's not runny. You could make it more runny. I quite like it when it's not that stiff. Um, when it's not that runny, I quite like that sort of um, texture. And then you can use, I don't know, what should we do? Should we put some blueberries on it? Put some raspberries there, oh, some strawberries there. I like some nut butter. So we've got some raspberries. Now, again, raspberries. Don't go crazy, even though raspberries are quite easy, uh, quite good to eat. You, you, you're not going to kind of um, do too badly if you do uh, raspberries, but if you have lots of raspberries. Okay, so that's, sorry, just going back to the porridge. That's how long that took. That was two minutes. Two, literally two minutes. That is done. You don't need it more done than that. That's creamy. Okay, now I've not added anything to that. If you wanted to add some sweetness to it, there's cinnamon that you could add to it. Cinnamon is absolutely great. Add a teaspoon or two of cinnamon to it. Oh, let's chuck that in, sorry. <laughs> add cinnamon to it, which gives you loads and loads and loads of flavor. And it gives you that sweetness. Okay, and you could add your nut butter to it as well. I'm gonna pour this in so that I can show you um, that's, that is 40 grams, that's big, because wait, let's see what we do. So if you were going to eat just that on its own with nothing else, I would say make 40 grams without a doubt. But if you're going to do what I'm going to do now, you'll see that it fills out quite a lot, okay? So we're going to add some blueberries to this, we've got cinnamon in there. We're going to add some blueberries. Oh, the blueberries escaped. Okay. Oh, we're going to add some cocoa nibs. So the cocoa nibs are really high in antioxidant, so they're really good for you. The cinnamon has added your uh, your your um, sweetness. Now, if you're going to add a, a nut butter, please, I urge you, a get a good quality nut butter, one which is just the nuts in it, okay? Nothing else, really important, because you will notice the difference if you buy a, a cheap make and if you buy a, a really good quality make. You, you won't need to eat that much, and actually you shouldn't. So, that's it. That's the amount of nut butter I'm having. You don't need a tablespoon, because that, it's gonna increase your calories. It's gonna in increase what you, you know, there. If you, however, you are training and you're, you know, an athlete in training and you've been told that you're using X number of calories, you now need to start inputting calories, then yes, you may need to have a little bit more nut butter in there because you need to increase your calories and your protein. But that porridge now has got uh, the cinnamon in it, you've got the nuts in it from the, you've got the protein from the nut butter in there as well. What I would actually add to this, if I can just show you as well, is... This protein powder. I sometimes add protein powder to my porridge. 
but I would add it after it's cooked. So just before I poured it into the uh, bowl, I would add a scoop of protein. That makes it last much longer for me. Okay, that's a, another thing that I think is, is quite important. And the heat in the cooking process doesn't destroy the doesn't protein. Doesn't destroy it. Another thing you can try is adding turmeric. Irabina. Irabina. You can add, add turmeric to your porridge um, as well. Turmeric and coconut is actually really nice. Saffron. Um, with with a with a nut milk is really is really good as well. Um, okay, so with the with this, I'm now going to add. Here's here's where this is like a double whammy of protein. Okay, so you've got your berries, you've got your chia seed jam. Um, you can even on this one add a little sprinkling of nuts. Any nuts that you fancy. I. Um, some blueberries through uh, and have that. I've shown you chia seeds, I've shown you quinoa, I've shown you normal porridge. These are other things that you can use as well in your, in your porridge. You can use something like this which has got sort of nuts and seeds in it, okay? If you needed to add a little bit more of a sweet tooth, you can drizzle a bit of, of maple syrup. Again, a teaspoon drizzled over. So, you know, here we are, we've got our cinnamon. I feel like I want to eat that right now. Okay, sorry. Um, you've got your cinnamon thing here and literally you are drizzling a teaspoon of maple syrup on the top okay so it's about controlling your portion use vanilla vanilla essence is a really good sweetener grated apple is a great sweetener as well into there these are alternative things that you can use as well now most a lot of the Indians on, on this will know about polwa Okay, so these are rice flakes, for those of us who, who haven't seen them before. These are red ones, but you can have white ones, you get brown ones as well, rice flakes. This makes a great porridge in the morning as well. Definitely add some nuts to it, because uh, ground nuts, ground almonds, to get that protein, um, because you know, they're, they're literally that, they're, they're, but they're rice. So they're not oats, they're not wheat, uh, they're not a wheat-based cereal, they're a rice-based. So you just, again, you cook it just like I did the chia seeds, just like I did the porridge. You just cook it for a little bit and add your flavourings to it. So that's another alternative. Literally takes 10 minutes. Sometimes when I am craving a sweet tooth in the evening before I go to bed, I actually make some, like a rice pudding with this, um, just using alternative milk as well. Um, so you've done that, we've done that. You've got loads of different milks you can use as well. This is something I love at the moment is quinoa flakes. This makes a great porridge too. Again, you've got quinoa. It's quicker than the quinoa and it's quinoa flakes, so you've got that there too. Okay, this was something I made uh, earlier and actually Ria Sharma tried it out for me. So this, I kid you not, took me five minutes to prepare, 15 minutes in the oven. What's that? That, that is a fruity breakfast crumble. So, it does have eggs in it. Um, it does have five grams of sugar in the whole thing, and I only added that because I thought Rio might need the sugar. Um, <laughs> but I wouldn't have needed the sugar. It's got blueberries, it's got banana, it's got strawberries in this one, oats, um, chia seeds, um, it's got milk, oat milk and eggs, and the recipe will be on the, blog, will be on the um, website. And it literally took 20, 15, 20 minutes from start to finish. So and it made so much. So again, with this, I would serve this, especially if it's hot, when it's hot, it's lovely, but even when it's not hot, but look, even when it's not hot, it's like, a, it's almost like a, it's almost like you could eat it like a biscuit. It's literally like a, a biscuit thing. And this does have mm. eggs, but you could do it without the eggs. So again, I would probably um, serve that with some, with some yogurt to keep me going, or I would take it even as a snack, there's, there's a lot, you know, it's... Hi, Divya. Hi, Divya. Um, so again, it's, it's all the fruit in it, 
And again, there's, there's no added sugar. There's like five grams of added thing. So again, what I would do is get some yogurt and I would just sort of dollop that on the top. And then you've got your, you know, you've got your live cultures, you've got your, you've got your, um, yeah. You've got your live cultures, you've got your probiotics, you've got your bits and pieces. So again, that's your fruity crumble. Easy, different alternative. Right, overnight soaked totes. Okay, so you can <laughs> dip in and out. Yeah. Overnight yeah. soaked oats. If um, I, I'm not a big fan, they're okay. I don't mind them. I just I, I prefer the cold chia seed pudding that I just mentioned. So what I would suggest you do is if you're going to soak them overnight, grate apple into it, grate carrot into it. That gives you the sweetness that you want. You can even grate um, courgettes. I don't, I really don't like that, but you can mix it with a bit of cinnamon. Mix it with some protein powder, which is really good as well. Obviously, you're not going to give protein powder to the children, by the way. This is just for adults. But everything else here, you can make at, make at home and give to your children. It's absolutely fine, but without the protein powder. Um, hydro. Hydro. Not hydro. Oh, not hydro. <laughs> and my nephew's called Trip as well. So that's why I looked really shocked. So yeah, that, that's uh, overnight soaked totes. And you literally just soak them overnight. And you can add whatever you want to them. You can add some chia seeds to them as well. Um, and they will expand with it and give you that protein. So for the children, that's a great one. And get the children involved. There's so much, so many things here they can get involved too. Um, okay, I'm going to do I've got to do pancakes. I don't know how we're doing for time. We've run out of time. Might do pancakes if I get a chance. But I just want to talk to you one last thing about smoothies. People, I see a lot of people get smoothies wrong. They get them really wrong. And the reason they get them wrong is because A, they probably make too much, yeah? If you remember that if you are having a, uh, how can I put this? If you're eating well all throughout the day, um, you're trying, or you're trying to lose weight, or you know you're not exercising or burning up as many calories, all right, you need to be careful about the number of calories you put in. A smoothie is a sure-fired way of getting in loads of calories that you don't actually need. If you, you don't, so you need to be careful about what you put in it and how much you have. 150 ml is really all you should have, which is a small amount. If you are training with a personal trainer and you have a, a, a training regime and you are, you know, I, I train, I do yoga in the morning and generally I train about five times a week. Um, you know, uh, with my PT or I do a spin or whatever, I need to think about the calories I'm putting in. So I need to kind of, there are certain times when I think, oh God, I, I do need a smoothie because I've got X to get to and I will drink uh, a, a smoothie and have protein in it. But please be careful. So don't put in more fruit than you would normally eat at one sitting. So it is very unlikely that you're going to eat a banana, an apple, half a packet of strawberries, uh, you know, uh, three slices of mango and, uh, you know, a full thing of milk. You would not eat that at one sitting, so don't put it in your smoothie. And then tablespoons of nut butter, uh-uh, doesn't, doesn't, really, really isn't, isn't good. So when I'm making a smoothie, I will add in half a banana, literally. So that's just for me. Not even that sometimes, just a little bit. Sometimes it doesn't even have to have banana. So again, if you're thinking, if you're doing weight loss, Something like watermelon is great to put at the base of a smoothie and you build it up with water as opposed to milk, okay? So I would put half a banana. I would put about five, well, sorry, there's about eight or nine in there, strawberries. Now, really important to get a vegetable in. So I like spinach in mine. I use kale. Uh, I will sometimes chop up a little bit of a carrot. Uh, courgette in mine, but just one vegetable, okay? One vegetable. So a little handful of spinach, raw spinach going in, okay? In it goes. Now, this is where you can start to have fun, okay? Um, I am sorry I'm going over, but this like, breakfast is, is insane. Well, I think so. there was a couple of breaks in due to poor connection, oh, so sorry. I think we'll allow them. Okay, sorry. The I won't be able time. to do the pancakes, but pancakes are super easy. Maybe I'll do them next week. But, right, here we go. I'm going to show you some bits and pieces. Oh, we could do more breakfast next week. Yeah, no, we are. 
Well, because we've got we've got the savoury. I, I want to I, I what I want to explain to you is that I started out like this. Okay, this was my breakfast. I had a sweet tooth. All these. Things. Yeah, seriously sweet tooth. Big time sugar addict over here. Re literally drank tea. Uh, like it, Rubina it could says, have been keep in... going forever. Uh huh. Rubina says, keep I going forever. You, Don't Rubina. forget. I love. I, I want. I'm going to wear my aviators that I got from you um, because. On one live session, I'm actually just going to do the whole live in my aviators because I'm so excited about them. Anyway, um, so if any of you need an optician, there's your girl. And Jack Harvey. Oh, Hi, Rita Harvey. Yoga. Yes. Ooh, hello. So can I just explain these? Are, now you can start to get a bit interesting. So in here, you can either add a scoop of protein, okay? Protein powder of your choice. I go for this one because it doesn't bloat me. I've had a protein shake today and I am not bloated at all. Um, but then there are other things that you can add in. Maca powder is fantastic for um, brain function, uh, for balance. Uh, it, it's a brilliant one. Um, Hi, Asha. It's, it's, quite, it's quite sweet, actually, in, in flavour as well. There's ashwagandha powder you can get. Ashwagandha powder is really good for those women amongst us who kind of need a little bit more of a hormone thing going on, a balance. It's a brilliant one for that as well. I've actually got here um, organic hemp protein powder, which I add in as well. So that's just meat in there. This I love at the moment. I actually make smoothies, um, I make pancakes with this, and that's on my blog as well. But if you want to buy some of this, this is fantastic. It's got chlorella, it's got spirulina, it's got all the goodies in it that you need in one batch. And I mix that in here. I'll put a scoop in there and then I'll top it up with whatever milk of my choice. Now, in this, you would add your bits and pieces. If you were going to add a nut butter, again, a teaspoon. You don't, you know, nuts are good fats, but they are fattening. So it's really simple. If you eat too many of them, they are, they're gonna be laid down as fat. So a teaspoon of nut butter, a small handful, about four or five nuts, if you wanted to add nuts in it instead. And then you can top it up. I top it up usually half water, then a bit of milk, any milk, coconut milk. To your 120 or 150 mil to, volume. To, to, yeah, and then you measure it out in your glass or measure it out in your, in your yeah, so you measure it out 150 mil. So that's your 150 mil done. Another thing that is great in a smoothie, it's deceptive for your palate as well, is ice. If you put ice in your smoothie, you it just changes the taste completely, okay? So, um, you can put chocolate in there, you can put a shot of coffee in there, as in cocoa powder, uh, coffee, um, you can put cocoa powder in there. That's actually or, quite good, putting an espresso shot yeah. in your smoothie. Yeah, I'll log of one that I, I do make, which has got um, espresso and it's got um, cinnamon and it's got a little bit of cocoa, uh, cocoa powder in there as well. And then it's topped up with some, some milk and it's just, it's, it's really nice and a protein powder. Um, that is it, you don't need to add more. So for those of you who are making smoothies like that and you're piling the stuff in, please be careful, because it won't help. Daughter number one's joined right at the end. Oh, hi Anaika, it's because she's hungry, I heard it. She's Please subscribe to the channel, it's Mira Bogle. There'll be lots more information on there as well. We'll be doing, Des and I are doing some videos, well, Des is doing some videos um, that we're gonna be, do, he's, he's doing for sort of specific exercise videos. I don't think it's gonna be me, he's gonna be using it as a model, but <laughs> which is fine. He's gonna use, uh, he's got some videos that he's gonna use, so you know, they're, they're probably gonna be on there as well. Um, so do subscribe to the YouTube channel if you can, please. And, and also the blog. Go on the blog, all the recipes are on there. Really, really important. Can I just also say, um, just one other thing was, before you go, we don't do Rice Krispies at nursery. We use these. Okay, don't know if you can see that. Mm -hmm. Right? So these are rice puffs. 
nothing in them. No sugar, no nothing. They're absolutely fantastic. And again, put them in milk and then a bit of your jam, your chia seed jam, which is set. Look at that, it's set now, beautifully set. So it's delicious, really, really delicious. Right, anything else? No. Next week, oh, this is my tip of the day. So I'm gonna record the tip of the day really quickly after this, but my tip of the day, for those of you who are watching, I'm doing this thing on let's reduce childhood obesity. Okay, we can do this. It is gonna affect us all at the sun stage. Ditch the cereals. Just ditch the cereals, the shop bought cereals. There is a recipe on my blog for chocolate nests, which you can actually give the children for breakfast because they're made with oats and you can top them with a little bit of peanut butter and a raspberry on the top. You can swap, you can just ditch those shop-bought um, horrible uh, uh, cereals. We don't need them. We don't use them at the nursery and our children are really happy and they I love their either. breakfast. So please ditch the shop-bought cereals and make your own breakfast. Next week's live is going to be on breakfast again, but it's going to be, I'm going to be doing eggs. So savoury breakfast. Things like omelettes, what toppings you can use, talking about vegetables and your plate and the whole thing. Um, and, and I now eat more savoury breakfasts than I do sweet breakfasts. I don't have these breakfasts very much at all because I actually now crave savoury breakfasts. So we've got to get you out. I'm trying to get everybody out of this mindset that breakfast should look a certain way. It, it shouldn't. We should be eating anything we want to at breakfast. Um, and protein is the most important thing as well. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, I shall probably see you on Sunday. I'm going to do another live on Sunday, which is a little short, informative one, because it's, it's live at five, is what Harry calls it. He loves calling it that. Um, uh, but otherwise, have a really lovely week. And continue to watch, because I will do a tip, one tip every day of something that you can do as a family, with your children, or even as an individual, to cut, let's reduce obesity statistics as well. Okay. So this, this video will also be on YouTube. It will be on YouTube. Yeah, I'm sorry it's gone on. It should have been 30 minutes. But thank you so much for watching. And I really hope you found it useful. Bye. Have a good evening. Bye.